Merry Christmas everyone from 1MJ to you. All right, welcome back. I'm not going to make this a long video at all. It's obviously Christmas here in Australia. So again, Merry Christmas to everyone uh, in Australia. And look, Merry Christmas to everyone around the world as well. It's probably coming up to Christmas for you if it's not already Christmas. So that's where I want to start. Now look, there's not much happening because it's Christmas Day. Bitcoin has, you know, been a little bit above 50,000 and a little bit below, and Ethereum seems to be holding strong at $4,000 thereabouts. Not a lot happening though. The market is down ever so slightly, but hey, we nearly got up to sort of 2.5 trillion. That was nice. Bitcoin dominance, again, it just hangs around 40%. Not a lot of volume to be expected, Christmas and all the rest of it. And gas prices staying nice and low. Look, what's done well in the last 24 hours? Considering it's Christmas and not too many people are probably worried about Christmas. Sorry, I'm worried. People are worried about Christmas. Not too worried about crypto at the moment. All right, Cardana. Not Car Cardana. Sorry. 10% uh, move, nice. Uh, Crypto.com, nice move. Aave, I was telling everyone about this before. And yeah, when it was down at 170, I think it even got down 130, 140, something crazy like that. Uh, I thought was a good buy. But look, there's a couple of nice moves and that's considering the market is down. But what about the rest of the coins then? The ones that aren't doing so well because the market is down a little bit. So there we can go. Look, not too many crazy gains, not too many crazy losses. Market really is just traveling sideways. Polygon holding nice uh, in the $2.50 mark. Down from its $2.69, I think, 67 or something high. But again, that's to be expected. Let's go to the chart. All right, here's Bitcoin. Now, it didn't quite get above that kind of 50, sort of $2,000 level. I thought we would. We rejected from there. And now we're just sort of... This looks like an indecision candle at the moment, but it is early stateside time. We'll have to wait and see what happens, but they're coming on to Christmas Day. Uh, so they're getting ready to wake up now. Whether the market's going to do anything or not, I'm not sure. But when we can zoom in, we can see it just didn't quite get above there. But look, it has set a new higher high. It's just whether it can hold. So it beat out this high, it beat out that high, and it beat out that high only just. So things... They're kind of yeah, on a nice edge at the moment. We're waiting to see, can this hold or is this just going to fall over and we're going to come back down in here? But look, what could be positive is if this falls, but it comes and retests this downwards uh, red line here and we bounce off it, that would be quite bullish. I'm not expecting any big moves until next year. But look, I've been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. And I'm happy to admit when I was wrong. I didn't think it was going to do this. I thought we we're going to get rejected by here and fall over. But at the moment, that still could play out. This could be just a fake out and we fall down here and come down lower. I don't really know what's going to happen. It's Christmas. It's New Year's. Are people going to be interested in doing anything? But there is that talk that, you know, everyone gets around and talks about uh, crypto and not just crypto, but things over the Christmas holidays. And if people have been in crypto for over a year, then they're going to be they're going to have done quite well. And that will tell people about that. And maybe that'll be enough for other people to then come and buy. I think the new year is really going to be the key point. But there is something that's giving me confidence. So crypto. Not doing too well at the moment, but it looks like we're just starting to bounce back. Look at this. S&P 500 really has bounced back. It is getting ready to set new all-time highs. Now, does it mean it will do it? No, this could turn over and definitely come for a leg lower. But this is looking positive because if the S&P 500 is doing well, that means crypto can do well. Crypto rarely ever does well when the S&P 500 is not doing well. Dow Jones, similar thing. It's had a rebound. It's starting to push up. Now, it hasn't been able to quite break this just yet, so we'll have to wait and see. Dow Jones could fall over, but it is just another smaller player in the sort of global markets. The S&P 500, whether people want to hear it and like it or not, that's the market to watch. If that's doing well, other markets can do well. If the S&P 500 is not doing well, very few other markets will do well. It's not to say you can't have outliers that will you know, do well while it's not, but that's the key thing to watch for me. If that's going to do well, then Bitcoin's going to do well. If it's not going to do well, it's unlikely that Bitcoin will do well. It might do well for a little while, but eventually it will just catch up with the S&P 500. I.e. if it's doing well, crypto can do well, and if it's doing bad, crypto can do bad. Now, we're also waiting to see if the four-year cycle is about to play out. 
was 69 the top and have we had our you know kind of altcoin you know market splash after it because the altcoins have done reasonably well and are we now getting ready to go into a bear market like we have usually january to february uh around January to February next year would be that four-year kind of cycle, or are we going into the lengthening lengthening cycles? God, I can't talk today. Anyone would think I'm drunk, and I'm not. All right, look, that's it from me. Things are looking slightly positive. I'm just not completely sold yet. We'll have to wait and see. We need more things to happen. I hope you have a Merry Christmas, spending plenty of time with your family, and enjoying this festive season. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. I hope you're all on that game train, and I'll see you next time.